Well, first, I, I want to congratulate North Dakota. Um, they have a really good team. And when we were preparing for them, I think uh, certainly I knew and really tried to let, uh, let these guys know that from an offensive perspective that they're very difficult to defend. They push the ball at a fast pace. They have two really outstanding guards and they have tremendous movement and uh, everybody on their team knows their role. And uh, you know, at times we had some good defensive possessions. We had a stretch there, I think in the first half where we were playing maybe our best. And then you know, we had some times where we didn't. And when we weren't at our best defensively, uh, they certainly took advantage of it. On the other end, offensively, uh, we had seven turnovers for the game and 24 for 28 from the foul line. So proud of these two guys. You know, I've answered a lot of questions on how we've weathered a lot of the obstacles and adversity that we dealt with this season. And a lot of times I answered by, we have three freshmen that are excellent players, but bring no drama to the, to the table. They do their job, they're consistent. Tonight is a great example. You know, first round of the NCAA tournament, you would expect freshmen sometimes to have a struggle. Uh, Lowry and, uh, and Raleigh were our two best players tonight. And in Raleigh's case, it might have been the best game he's played at Arizona. He had 20 points, five assists, no turnovers, eight for eight from the field. And it's a big reason why we scored 100 points tonight and maybe offset a little bit of our defense. Uh, so we'll take it and we're excited to move on. And again, back to North Dakota, just wanted to congratulate them on a really good season. and They do a great job. No, in, in some ways, um, they have some real similarities in that <clears throat> they utilize ball screens uh, a lot in the half court. They three or four per possession, four or five per possession. And they have some incredible shooters out there while all this action is going. You know, North Dakota plays at a much faster tempo, which I thought was a big part of their success against us. We talked about that at halftime. And uh, they really push the ball. And once they get in the half court, they have a lot of movement that follows it. St. Mary's is more deliberate, but they really execute and certainly shoot the basketball. You know, part of you know, a couple of the questions that were, were asked to these guys, if you give a team 10 for 22 from the three-point line, if a team makes 10 for 22 from the three-point line, you know, that you're playing with fire. And that's what they did tonight. They went 10 for 22. And, and I think one of the alarming things, and it's something we have to, to get right here entering Saturday, two shooters that, that clearly we knew were great shooters, number 21 and number one, Hooker and Baldwin, they went nine for 17. The fact they shot 17 threes and made nine, and they, they were the players that we clearly knew is concerning. But I'm, I'm going to just bet that if you really look at how they scored their threes, they got quite a few on a fast push in transition. And uh, you know, some of that starts with our running good offense, but it really starts with making sure that we're back. And you know, transition can break your back. And at times, I thought they, they created some great shots for themselves against our transition defense. You know, offensively, you know, we, we did the job. I mean, you know, we played with seven turnovers. You know, by the way, they're a team that can force turnovers. They have a lot of quickness. Uh, they use their hands really well on defense, and they disrupt you. Um, 24 for 28 from the free throw line. We're an excellent free throw shooting team, and we got there. And uh, you're right, 58%. We had 36 field goals. 32 were, uh, 32 were from two-point. So we utilized our size. Uh, that's, that's important in a game like tonight to play to your strengths. I think, you know, if you listen to us, I think the sentiment up, up here is we wish we felt better about our defensive effort. And I think we'd have, we'd have put together one heck of a game. But I credit North Dakota on, on the way they played. You know, he did. He was terrific. And, and so was Raleigh. And, you know, back to my point, you know, those two guys are freshmen. And I, I thought they were the most consistent players on our team and uh, made, made big plays when we really needed it. If you look at you know, who, who answered their run in the second half, I think these two guys made a lot of plays uh, to answer, answer that run. But I wish we would have done a better job of getting the ball to Lowry in the second half. I think one of the things we've learned, teams go to great lengths to try to take him out of things. And uh, sometimes it opens up other opportunities for his teammates. And although maybe in the second half he didn't score as much, 
maybe we didn't even get them the ball in scoring position as much. That's because they really, you know, loaded, switched, fronted, did a lot of things to take him out of it. And, you know, sure enough, Dusan had 12 second half points. So we have balance on offense and, uh, you know, we, we did a lot of good things as a team tonight. Lowry obviously was a big part of that. You know, Kadeem is our heart and soul. He's the only senior on our team. Uh, he's been with us uh, from start to finish this year as a leader. You know, in the first game of the season in Hawaii <clears throat> against Michigan State, he drove the ball coast to coast and hit a game-winning shot. And really from that point on, unless he was injured, he's played a big, big role in every game that he's played. Uh, he didn't personally have as good of a defensive effort tonight as, uh, as he usually does. But th those guards were hard to defend. And he picked up a couple fouls. And, and I really believe he was more hesitant after he picked up his fouls. But uh, you're right, Kadeem's always in the, uh, seems like always in, in, the, in the play, whether it's a big rebound, the defensive stop, a good pass. He does everything. He plays to win. He could care less about his stats. And, I think that's sometimes his, his best quality.